Now on Coast TV News. Getting the job done in Ocean City. How officials are creating a list of priorities to achieve in the future and why the boardwalk is top of the list. Spending Labor Day on the coast, why the unofficial end to the summer marks a crucial time for small businesses. A second chance for veterans. Sussex County's Veterans Court hits 100 graduates. How this program aims to change lives and offer new paths for those who have served our country. This is Coast TV News at 6. Ocean City making it a top priority to declutter its boardwalk. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with the Ocean City Council preparing to look over how dirty the boardwalk has been. On Tuesday, Council is going over top priorities that they want to implement in the OC. And something on the top of the list is keeping the boardwalk clean. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us what they've done to do just that. Picking up trash and throwing it out. That's all you have to do to keep the Ocean City Boardwalk clean. Something yearly vacationer Sabrina Hartley says has been a growing problem. It's gotten a lot worse in the past 50 years. More people don't care about the environment. The Ocean City Council made it one of their top priorities this year to change just that. Starting things off with harsher fines when it comes to display signs being pushed too far onto the boardwalk. If a sign was pushed too far onto the boardwalk, Ocean City would originally give the store a warning, but now officers can hand out a $500 fine right away if they choose to do so. The council hopes that by increasing the fine, that stores will keep the boardwalk clear of any signs that don't belong. As for the litter, vacationer John Smith seems to find nothing wrong while on his bike ride. And there's an occasional thing, but I nothing that you wouldn't expect from people, uh, you know, missing the trash can. You know, yeah, no, com no complaints. I find it clean. Other than some wrappers and cigarette buds on the boardwalk, the area seems to be clean. But one local tells Coast TV where the real trash lies. I talked to one local who works on the boardwalk at two different locations, and he says while the boardwalk is generally clean during the summer, the main problem is the beach. With everyone soaking up the sun, trash is bound to be left behind. But with a helping hand, the beach can soon be trash free. The Ocean City Council will discuss tomorrow how dirty the boardwalk has been this summer and if any other implementations are needed for next year's crowd. I'm Kevin Zappay in Ocean City, Coast TV News. Cleaning up the boardwalk is just one of the many priorities the town is considering. Here's a few other issues the town says it would like to tackle this year or next year, and they're talking about it tomorrow. They want to fight proposed wind farms evaluate a possible sports complex, a uh, room tax increase from 5 to 6 percent, and lastly, short-term rental regulations. And all this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what should Ocean City prioritize? Let's take a look at the updated results from last news hour. Take a look here. So far, 56 percent still believe that they should be fighting wind farms. 35 percent say boardwalk cleanup should be the priority. If you haven't voted yet, you can still do that at coasttv.com or our mobile app, and we'll show you updated results on Coast TV News at 11. Well, today is the unofficial end of summer, which means the crowds headed to our coast this weekend. They're headed home now. Let's take a live look at the Bay Bridge to see how traffic looks at this hour. Pretty decent there, westbound span. Not a total backup here on the bridge. It was reported to be about 13 miles just about an hour ago for backups. If you do want to travel though, MDTA says the best time to hit the Bay Bridge is after 10 p.m. tonight. And for many, Labor Day weekend is the last time they'll visit the beach for the summer season. And for businesses in beach communities like Rehoboth, this holiday weekend is crunch time to bring in last minute business. Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber shows us how stores attract customers and why this weekend means so much to their survival. Rehoboth Beach is a popular vacation spot for people, especially on Labor Day weekend. And small stores like these on the boardwalk are looking for a bump in sales. Many rely on the busy summer season to stay open, so Labor Day weekend is the last hurrah before the slow season begins. Mark Blattel, who works at Rehoboth Toy & Kite, says the key to attracting beach customers to stop in is to set up fun displays that grab the whole family's attention. They have a fun time playing with the toys and getting together as a family and then making purchases, which is a good thing for us. Many of the shops in Rehoboth Beach have unique gifts that you likely won't find anywhere else. 
And for out-of-state visitors, a big perk to shopping in Delaware is there is no sales tax. Robert Howley, who works at Shades in Rehoboth, says while a lot of people like to take the day off of work on Labor Day, for small business owners, now is the time the shops need to be open and ready to go. As all small business owners on the Ave, we're, we're really excited to have the tourists come in and and, uh, and, and shop and get some of the good stuff that they, they want when they're here. While there's many stores here in Rehoboth Beach that close once the summer ends, there's a handful that are open year round. So instead of going to major retailers, make sure you come to your local beach stores and shop small. In Rehoboth Beach, I'm Lisa Weber, Coast TV News. As the summer winds down, businesses in Ocean City are reporting an up and down year. A restaurant owner says he fared much better throughout certain months, highlighting the end of July that was particularly rough. But he wasn't alone. Inflation and vacationers spending less while they're in town also highlighted as contributing to a less than ideal summer. It's hard gauging the travelers nowadays, whether it's short weeks, long weeks. But all in all, it, we're happy. We're happy. I mean, you always want better, but it could have been a heck of a lot worse. Occupancy at hotels was reportedly down 2.5% in July. Let's go ahead and take a live look right now into Ocean City. A beautiful Monday evening there. Our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams has a first look at our forecast. Good evening, Paul. Good evening to you. And you know what? We're enjoying temperatures below the norm for this time of the year and a very fall feel outside. I mean, we had a high of 81 degrees in Georgetown, 80 for the high in Ocean City and 79 uh, the high today in Salisbury. Overall, it's a little bit on the breezy side because we have some active small craft advisors that want to pass along to you. Well, until about one o'clock Tuesday, we have the small craft advisory in effect off of the uh, Sussex County shore. So we're watching out for 25 mile per hour winds there. Now from Ocean City down to Chincoteague, we're looking for the small craft advisory to stay active until seven o'clock. Once again, just breezy conditions, not necessarily a storm that's brewing. And then over towards Cambridge, we have the small craft advisory that's active until noon on Tuesday. In all situations, we're looking for a good deal of sunshine, not watching out for a storm. But keep in mind that as we get ready to set off for the golf forecast, it's looking pretty favorable. I can't wait to show you this later in the newscast. I can't wait to see it, Paul. Thank you. Some troubling news from the U.S. Coast Guard. The search for a missing boater who left the Indian River Inlet last week has been called off. Officials say the last contact anyone had with 48-year-old Dorian Yankee was 7.30 a.m. on August 26th. He left this area, the Indian River Inlet, at 9.30 the same day. The boat Yankee was in is a 24-foot white hydra sport boat. He was thought to go 10 to 15 nautical miles out from the Indian River Inlet. Last seen wearing a tan shirt, navy shorts, and a navy hat. As you first saw on CoastTV.com, if you saw a lot of emergency boats off of Massey's Landing this weekend, here's why. According to the Indian River Volunteer Fire Company, reports indicated that three girls and one woman out on paddle boards and kayaks needed help. Firefighters say they quickly found the ladies who said they were fine, so happy ending there. But a little bit of a kerfluffle, and we have that full story on CoastTV.com. Sunday marked a solemn day of remembrance in Georgetown. For police officer Chad Spicer, who you see here, he was shot and killed in the line of duty on September 1st, 2009. Every year, local police departments and members of the community come out to remember Spicer. A memorial in his honor graces the Georgetown Circle, and as you see here, a wreath is also laid in his memory. New today, people gathered at the Fort Miles Museum in Lewis for the 8th annual Victory Over Japan ceremony, celebrating the official end of World War II. Hosted by the Fort Miles Historical Association, the event honors 774 Delawareans who died in World War II. Visitors saw the 16-inch gun barrel displayed at Fort Miles. And did you know that was actually on board the USS Missouri when surrender documents were signed in 1945? Volunteers read the name of 50 fallen Delawareans with a special tribute to Navy veteran and flight engineer John Reichert. He served in the Navy. He was a flight engineer on patrol bombers operating out of Norfolk, Virginia uh, for a while, chasing submarines and escorting convoys uh, off the East Coast, which is very appropriate for Fort Miles because there was a lot of submarine activity and then he was transferred to the Pacific. Also in attendance was local World War II veteran George McCarthy 
Reichert now lives in Rehoboth Beach and turns 100 on October 28th. And we have a lot more news to get to this Labor Day. Back to school season, it's here. A supply drive you can check out this week. And cooler conditions will continue to come with some fun sunshine for this entire month. We've had more below normal temperatures than above uh, normal temperatures. And we're going to stay below that line for the next few days, Maddie. But first, veterans getting a second chance with a very special court program when we're back in just 60 seconds. Save big during the Labor Day sale at Johnny Janosik. Get Delaware's guaranteed lowest prices, plus 0% APR financing for 60 months, or take an extra 20% off. Now through Labor Day Monday at Johnny Janosik. Rural communities are on the front lines of a changing climate. Farmers can implement climate smart practices that improve soil health, nutrient management, and energy efficiency. These practices improve our profitability, resiliency, and help to open new markets. We know voluntary conservation works and are committed to working with farmers and forest landowners to leverage resources to increase climate resiliency through conservation practices. To learn more about Climate Smart Practices, scan this QR code to find your local USDA service center. It's time to take your outdoor living space to the next level. Shop the Labor Day Outdoor Sale at Johnny Janosik and get 0% APR for 60 months or take an extra 20% off. Don't miss the Labor Day Outdoor Sale at Johnny Janosik. This is Coast TV News at 6. A letter from one veteran to another. That's the result of the lasting impact of Delaware Veterans Treatment Court program. The program just celebrated their 100th graduate. Well, actually, two graduates. Coast TV News reporter Zakia Jennings shows us about the generous decision made by a judge. I'm number 100. <laughs> number 100 meaning the 100th graduate of the Veterans Treatment Court Program. The program helps veterans who are charged with nonviolent felonies and misdemeanor crimes. Charles Marshall is a graduate of the program, a program that Charles says provided him with something new. I got a different perspective of the, of the penal system. My uh, confidence is up, you know, my self-esteem is at an all-time high. Uh, it, it just, it's the one for the program. Charles and another man both graduated on the same day and a judge decided that both men will be acknowledged and celebrated as the 100th graduate of the program. Through this experience, they gain stable housing, employment, and receive help with accessing benefits. Veteran and program mentor Edmund Burke says he takes a very personal approach with every veteran. Well, I would, I, would, I would not use a generic argument to get them to come in. I'd want to sit down and find out what their offense was, what their personal situation was by way of everything from transportation to housing to employment, and then come up with a recommendation. Once a vet completes the program, if they weren't yet convicted, charges will be dismissed. And if they were already convicted, probation may be terminated. In Georgetown, I'm Zakia Jennings. Coast TV News. If you take a look at our golf forecast, and we're going to expect for it to stay very sunny. We'll be back with your forecast in a moment. Del Marva's hit music station, 1025 WBOC. Governor Carney trusts Bethany Hall Long to be our next governor. As Lieutenant Governor, Bethany fought to protect abortion rights, passed an assault weapons ban, and made historic investments in education to improve our schools. That's why she's been endorsed by the Delaware Democratic Party. And why Governor Carney said, Bethany has the right experience to be our next governor and the vision to build a bright future for all Delawareans. On September 10th, vote Bethany Hall Long for governor. At Precision Exteriors, caring is our cause and community is a big part of everything we do. Habitat's partnership with Precision Exteriors has been incredible. They come out, they get everything done quickly, efficiently, and they leave no nail left behind when they're cleaning up and they're done. Choose Precision Exteriors for your next home improvement project. Roofing, siding, gutters, and windows. We use quality materials with excellent craftsmanship. And we work with insurance companies advocating for you. Remember, measure twice, cut once, and always do it with Precision. Precision Exteriors. You shouldn't have to choose between the kitchen update you need and the vacation you want. With Paul Davis, you can have both. Change the look of your entire kitchen. Get all new doors, drawers, and hardware without any major demolition. And it's done in as little as three days. All for half the cost of a tear out. 
And that vacation you wanted? We'll give you that too. Pay nothing for 12 months and get a luxury vacation for two. Call Paul Davis for a free same day estimate or visit the showroom. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Hurricane season is here, which means power outages can strike any time without warning. Don't get caught in the dark. Let the expert electricians at FH Fur install a Generac whole home standby generator, keeping your lights on, your family connected, and your home safe no matter what. Call FH Fur today and get $1,000 off. Plus, for a limited time, we'll include a whole home surge protector absolutely free. When Mother Nature strikes, it's too late. Stay powered, stay safe with FH Fur. 877-GOFER. Celebrate Labor Day with huge savings at Preston Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Millsboro. This Labor Day weekend, get a free Grizzly cooler with every vehicle purchase. Save over $6,000 off MSRP on a 2024 Grand Cherokee Limited. And that's just some of the deals. See our whole selection of hundreds of Jeeps online at MillsboroCDJR.com. So join us for all the excitement right here during the Labor Day sales event at Preston Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Cars cost less with Preston. In 1925, a simple bank ledger began journaling the transactions of life in Willards, Maryland. New houses, barns, and farm equipment. Growing families and businesses both big and small. A record through time of hardship and prosperity. A hundred years ago, the founding of the Farmers Bank of Willards was vital to the town. One hundred years later, banking has changed, but the Farmers Bank remains steadfast in its original mission, keeping and reinvesting millions of dollars right here for the benefit of our communities. Delmarva's Classic Rock, Big 1077. Beautiful sunshine to round off your holiday weekend, and we're going to continue with that sunshine even into your work week, which is quite a treat for Mother Nature. Our Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk Plaza camera, we're holding at about 78 degrees, and the wind's at about 3 miles per hour for right now. Now, we're going to drop from 78 down to 75 by 7 o'clock, then by 71 by 9 o'clock, but we will still maintain a pretty clear skyline. Now, if there's anything to be apprehensive about, we might have to be apprehensive about it staying a bit breezy for us along the beaches. So here's why. We have a small craft advisory, which is 25 mile per hour wind gusts expected until Tuesday or tomorrow at about 1 o'clock late lunch from Lewis all the way down towards South Bethany. In addition to that, it's staying a bit breezy for us, for us from Ocean Pines down towards Chincoteague. And, and also we're looking for breezy conditions on the other side of the Delmarva Peninsula for places like Hudson, Tillman, uh, Taylor's Island and Cambridge. So when we're talking about 25 mile per hour wind gusts, that's close to the ground. Now aloft, it's still a little bit on the breezy side as well. By the way, that is also inclusive of the most southern portions of our Delmarva Peninsula. The cold front has already pushed through and we have a dominant high pressure system that's really throughout a good portion of the, the Great Lakes region, but also it's pulling in or pulling in some air coming out of southern portions of Canada. Now, Canada's obviously much cooler, it's closer to the, to the, to the pole, uh, but we're having that pouring in of that cooler air and that's dropping the temperature by three to four degrees, generally speaking, across the entire Delmarva Peninsula. So here's the bottom line here. We're looking for fall light conditions for this entire week with low humidity and plenty of sunshine, an abundance of sunshine actually, with a few clouds here and there, but still staying mainly clear till we get towards the end of the work week. Now that's when our chances of rain and wet weather is expected, uh, particularly Friday and Saturday. I'll show you that in more detail in a moment. So take a look at our expectations for tomorrow. We're gonna have clear skies for tomorrow, but notice the temperature is slow climbing like molasses okay so we're looking at temperatures about 73 degrees around lunchtime but the winds are staying a bit on the well at least gusty side to an extent up to 11 to 12 mile per hour winds out of the northeast so here's a look at tuesday 60s winds out of the northeast tuesday afternoon to evening we are in the 70s low 70s upper 60s by six o'clock 8 30 we're starting off near 70 degrees but then we're back to the mid 70s by the afternoon hours finally here's a look at your paul davis restoration home remodeling extended forecast sunshine and plenty of it on tuesday a few scattered clouds on wednesday and thursday it's going to be real cloudy on friday but that's also when the rain will kick in for us on Maddie. And then by the time we get to Saturday, we're looking at those scattered showers and thunderstorms coming to an end to salvage Sunday. Paul, thank you. Today is the unofficial end of summer, which means it's back to school season. The Milford School District will host a Stuff the Bus School Supply Drive this week. That's September 5th at 530 as part of the Support First Responders Touch a Truck event. That's at 301 Northeast Front Street this year. If you're a pet owner, here's a story you're going to want to hear. 
The Brandywine Valley SPCA is offering discounted surgeries for dogs and cats in Georgetown. Here's the deal. They're providing spay and neuter. Good prices here to $100 for dogs if they're up to 90 pounds, $40 for cat spay and neuters. You can secure your space by registering online today. Coming up this weekend, the Shore Living Expo. It celebrates health, wealth, and home on Delmarva. As you can see on your screen, it's this Saturday, September 7th, from 10 to 4 at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. Tonight on the Delmarva Sports Network at 7 p.m., you can tune in to the 2024 Zap Skimboarding Competition, and then it's the final score at 1030. And then on DSN Plus on Tuesday, the main event at 5, you can watch Kent Island at Parkside Football. Soaring Over the Shore is sponsored by Morse Roofing and Siding. Nestled between the bay and the ocean, Fenwick Island goes from a sleepy beach town in the winter to a hub of great dining and waterfront adventure in the summer. The land that is Fenwick Island was once Fishing Harbor, eventually given to Thomas Fenwick. Sussex County's southernmost beach town used to be part of Maryland before some surveying, and the Trans Peninsula Line begins right here. The small town has some tall tales, one that Thomas Fenwick was thrown overboard on a pirate ship and swam to shore, though the town now says the more likely story of Fenwick's founding is that Fenwick's future son-in-law swam ashore, landing here and married Fenwick's daughter. Despite a dramatic start, it's kept its low-key charm over the years, with walkable streets, lots of shopping and dining, and multiple places to relax, birdwatch, and enjoy Mother Nature's sunrises and sunsets. There's a year-round population of just 300, but a booming summer crowd. The town says its tagline used to be fisherman's paradise. Now, it's everyone's paradise. As a fellow veteran and family-owned business, Morse Roofing and Siding loves to give back to those that have served for the freedoms of this country. Dear Lieutenant Colonel Richard Marks, thank you for your service. In honor of your 20 plus years in the U.S. Air Force, we would like to give you, as our gift, this new certainty roofing system at no oh cost God, to you. And right now, we would like to give a free certainty upgrade to any military veteran between now and December the 31st. There's good. There's better. And then, then there's, there's more. Morse. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful heights, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. The biggest mattress savings are happening right now at Johnny Genosics Mattress World. Get a Kingsdown Plus or Firm Queen mattress with a power base for only $999.95. Shop the Labor Day mattress sale at Johnny Genosics Mattress World. Hi, I'm Joel Wharton, Sussex County Farmer. Don't wait until after harvest to plant your cover crops. Consider broadcasting or interseeding cover crops into your standing cash crop. Early establishment provides more growth potential and more soil armor over winter. It also saves time because after harvest, the cover crop is already growing and protecting the soil, cycling nutrients, and preventing erosion. To learn more about the benefits and ways to establish cover crops early, contact the Sussex Conservation District because every acre counts. When MAGA extremists took away our rights, Kyle Evans Gay took action. Kyle fought for her daughters and ours in the state Senate, delivering the strongest abortion protections in Delaware history. She took on the NRA to ban assault weapons and protect our communities. Led on securing our vote and our democracy. I'm Kyle Evans Gay, and I'm running for Lieutenant Governor because a new generation will champion reproductive freedom and fight for our families. Let's do this, Delaware. The biggest mattress savings are happening right now at Johnny Genosics Mattress World. Get a Kingsdown Plush or Firm Queen mattress with a power base for only $999.95. Shop the Labor Day mattress sale at Johnny Genosics Mattress World. There's still lots of great weather left to enjoy a new deck and a vacation. With Paul Davis, you can have both. Our composite decking looks great. It won't fade, curl, or rot. So it's maintenance free and comes with our lifetime warranty. Paul Davis will bring the showroom to you, take measurements, and give you a down-to-the-penny price that same day. And that vacation? We'll give you that, too. 
pay nothing for 12 months and get a luxury vacation for two. Call today for a free same day estimate. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Weather is sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration, your storm damage experts, here to help now. If you're interested in keeping our beaches safe and clean, clear your calendar for September 14th. The 37th annual Delaware Coastal Cleanup is around the corner. You can either take part in the cleanup or the month-long statewide cleanup campaign. If you plan on attending, make sure you pre-register at Delaware.gov. Here's a look at our Tendals camera in Laurel. We're at 76 degrees. We're looking at dropping down to 66 by 10 degrees as quickly as 10 o'clock for the evening under mostly clear skies and the winds coming out of the north is going to help it feel that much cooler as well. Keep in mind, we are looking to keep you updated on what's happened to your forecast. Call our weather line sponsored by Baird and Dallas, Brunkstead and Federico. Finally, here's a look at your exclusive Paul Davis restoration home remodeling 10 day forecast. No rain till Friday, Maddie. Looks great, Paul. Thank you. And thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next, and we'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.